Congratulations on your new 2020 Toyota Sienna with the VMI North Star conversion. In order for us to start, we're gonna have our remote here. Go ahead and hold the uh, sliding door button for about three seconds to activate the RAM system. So the door will open up, ramp will deploy out and the vehicle will kneel down. Once we're ready, then we can drive inside using our electric wheelchair. So from here, we're gonna have our Keystrains Deluxe retractable straps. So you're gonna grab it, you would pull. And in this case, in this wheelchair, they actually hook up right here. So you're gonna hook it on there. And they are self-retracting and you're gonna have the little knobs where you can twist to tighten up to add more tension same with back here we're gonna grab our strap bring it in hook it on add tension and i'm just gonna come around to the other side of the vehicle and same thing onto this side we're gonna grab hook tighten So now that the vehicle is secure, we're gonna grab our seat belt system here. So this is gonna be the lap belt and shoulder harness together. So we're gonna bring this across here. And then on the other side, we'll grab the buckle side. Bring it around and buckle it in. And then from there, you would just pull on these straps here to make sure it's nice and tight. Same with here. If you had to pull it, you can just pull on these to take out any of the slack. Same with here. Pull, make sure it's snug, make sure they're comfortable, and you're ready to go. So in order to remove the restraints, first thing we want to do is unbuckle the seatbelt from here. Next, you're gonna see a little red lever here. Press down on that lever, release some of the uh, the tension, unhook it, and it retracts back. And you wanna make sure you do that on all four sides. So same thing on this side. Release, retracts back. And you can swivel these out if you had to. Make sure the back two are undone. And then from there, you can drive the wheelchair out. Use your remote, hold the button, ramp system will close back up. Door closes and you're ready to go. So there's a couple of things up on the front driver area to control how the ramp and door operate. Uh, right underneath here, you're gonna see two switches. One that says kneel on and kneel off. Next one is ramp on and ramp off. If you go ahead and switch that kneel off, the ramp system will deploy out, um, but the car will not kneel down. Of course, if you have it on, the vehicle will kneel. If you have the ramp system off here, that means if you hit any of the, um, passenger sliding doors to open the door will open but the ramp system will not deploy out and of course if you hit that back on ramp system and everything would deploy as normal there's a couple of buttons on the inside which would deploy the ramp system uh, this one here that says vmi will deploy the ramp system the one up here the buttons on the remote uh, the button on here as you press it will deploy or deploy or bring in the ramp system um, as the green light is flashing they will flash until the vehicle is the ramp system is in doors closed and the kneel is all the way up if the vehicle is time for service towards the end of a cycle this will flash three times which lets you know it's time to bring the vehicle in for service if it's fine the light will just turn off as normal 
So both driver and passenger seats are both removable in the VMI Northstar conversion. First thing we want to do is remove the power connector. Um, you're going to twist the front of the connector and it's going to twist right out. You'll take it and you, there's a little holder underneath the seat. You're going to put it there. Next, you're going to grab the latch and you're going to pull. As you pull, you want to go ahead and lift up the seat to uh, allow the wheels to pop out. And then you're just going to roll it back away. And then you can take it right out of the vehicle. Um, putting it back into the uh, vehicle, you're going to have these little hooks on the front side here. And there's going to be two little spots towards the front firewall. And that's where those front hooks are going to want to lock into. So you just grab it. It's going to go in there just like that. And then at the bottom here with your foot, there's going to be a lever. So you're going to hit down with your foot and it's going to lock in. And what you want to do is push down onto the seat just to make sure that it's locked in. Give it a nice little wiggle to make sure it's there. Grab your connector. You're going to have a yellow marking at the, and that's going to tell you that's the, the top of the connector. And you're going to want to connect it right back up and twist the, twist the connector back into its spot. And same thing goes with the driver's side as well. This vehicle also has the Color Me uh, VMI added lighting. So they give you a uh, RGB remote where you can control the different lights in the vehicles. Um, just to show you. So for example, right back here, we got the lighting there and using your remote, you can turn and you can tap and you get to switch to any color you want. Here, you get to again, switch to the different color options. Um, brightness, if it's too bright, you can make it brighter. Um, down here, you have white, green, blue, red. Um, there's different modes here. Um, so we'll just keep it out white at the medium brightness for now. Um, right up here on the, near the steering wheel, uh, this will actually turn off those lights. So if we hit this there, where's that middle button, the lights will turn off. And if I hit the switch, it will turn them right back on. And we have the light in the back. We have it up front. And also when you remove any of the seats, you'll see. So just like any other doors, um, to open up the back door, go ahead and press and hold the button for about three seconds. And that will cause the back door to open up. Inside the back hatch here. Um, so these are going to be the seat belts that have been modified for the wheelchair van conversion. You're going to have two. One is for the um, front row positions and uh, one is for the second row positions. Um, these are going to be your manual tie down just in case if you were wanting to use those. Um, underneath this plastic tray is your spare tires there. On the right side of that is going to be your tools for the jack and to install that spare tire. On the left side here located behind here is the VMI uh, control module. Uh, I recommend not to mess with that unless you are a VMI certified technician. If we're ever having an issue with the ramp system to where the ramp is not going in when you press uh, the buttons on the remote or any of the buttons on the dash, uh, there, there is a couple of ways to bring the ramp system in. Um, right inside the driver sliding door, you do have a crank here. So this would be able to bring the ramp in. You'd be able to get the tip of that, put it into the hole into the floor, and then the cover will pop right out. On the inside, you'll see a little hole where that little tip will go into. You put the crank inside. And then from there, you'll be able to turn and you'd be able to bring the ramp in. Um, an easier way is to come towards the driver's side seat pillar. You're going to have something here that's called the sure deploy. Um, in order to engage it, you want to press and hold the sure deploy button. You're going to hear a beep and once that beep turns off, you're in sure deploy mode. And if you look here, there's a button that says in and button that says out for the ramp. So if you focus on the ramp here, if I hit the in button, 
bring the ramp in and if I let go it stops. If I hit the out button, bring the ramp out. If I let go it stops. So in this case we'll go ahead and bring it all the way in. Once it goes all the way in you can let go. Perfect. And then from there you can hit the shore deploy and that will turn it off from there. Right down here, this is the kneeling raise uh, toggle switch. So if you hold this, it will raise the vehicle back up. So it's not in the kneeling position anymore. And you wanna hold that for, I would say probably roughly about 20 seconds. And you'll notice that once the vehicle's all the way raised up in the air, then you can go ahead and let that go. In order to close the door, Again, if the door is not working, underneath the driver's side uh, steering wheel is gonna say power door off. You wanna go ahead and hit that switch off. Come towards the door, grab it, and you can close the door manually, and, and you're all set.